So from the last video, we learned how to create a client instance. And for this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Google Vision API to detect text in an image. So here, let's take a look. And from the uh, client method, we have a method code. Uh, so if you scroll down, there's a text detection method. And there's also a document text detection method, which is to extract text from an image file, but for documentation types of image. And I'll start with the uh, uh, detect text and image first. So here, let's go back to our, uh, our Python editor. And before we start, the first thing we need to uh, figure out is uh, where the image is located. So here on my computer, uh, within my Texas folder, I have three images. So let me open the image real quick. And the first image is a sign with, with a cache and loud noise and some text. And the second image is uh, a vending machine. And, and here we have text, uh, welcome to Shibuya. So this is a folder that I took in Japan. And I haven't tried the, the image yet. So I don't know if the Google Vision API will recognize the text, but we'll see. And the last image is the another photo that I, I took in San Francisco. And the text pixel is a little bit uh, not as clear as the first image, but we'll see. So let's just go ahead and try it and try it out and to see uh, how extensively the Google Vision API will be able to detect the, the text. And first thing first, I'm going to create my variables. So here I'm going to create a file name variable to store the uh, the file name. So I'm going to start with the text1.jpg. And we have the folder path. And we need to open the image as binary. So with ia.open and here I'm going to use the OS path.join to join the folder path and the file name together. I'm going to name this as uh, image file. And we're going to store the binary uh, information to a content uh, object. Here we need to construct image instance. So taking the vision um, class and types dot image, we need to pass the content uh, variable. And next, I'm going to create response object. So this is going to be the JSON file. The, the Google Vision API is going to use the text detect text detection method to um, recent uh, the output. So here you are taking the client object and I'm going to use the text underscore detection method. And there's a parameter called image and want to provide this image object to the image parameter. And that's it. Now if I just run the selection of code, And if we just take a look, so let me move the, the panel to the right. And if I just print the response uh, output, and here we'll get a list of JSON file, a JSON properties, not files. So here, let's take a look at the keys. So if you do response.keys, oops, response.key. Huh. Response, no, response. Oh, so this returns a annotated image response. Okay, let me do this. Uh, let's see. So here I'm going to um, import a pandas frame. So I'm going to just basically uh, display the information that is relevant. You can always go to the JSON response and I'll look at each key one by one. But here, since I'm trying to make the video uh, shorts. There's no pandas package. 
Let me install the pandas package real quick. Okay, now I just finished uh, installing the pandas package. Now let's go back. So here let me uh, re-import the pandas uh, module. Now if I uh, use the DR frame methods, I'm going to create two columns, the locale uh, column and the description column. So here if I just do a response dot text annotations oops uh, response dot text annotations okay this will basically returns all the uh, labels or text that the method locates so here we have a uh, cache and loud noise and so me uh so let me just quickly go over different uh, elements so the description is basically just the, the text that the API found. And the bounding polo is basically the location where the texts are located. I'm only interested in the description and the locale. So the locale basically tells you uh, the text language. So here we need to iterate uh, each, uh, each record one by one. So, so here, let's do this. I'm going to create a text object text is object and taking the response and we're going to use the text annotations method and for text in texas and we're going to append each uh each description from each record into and pass that into the uh the frame so the appends And for the locale, it's going to be text locale. And for the description, it will be uh, text description. Oops. Oh, here's an extra close parenthesis. Let me put this back. Okay. And here we're going to ignore the index. And that's it. So now if I, let me run uh, line 18 to line 28. Uh, there's a typo. So uh, response, text, annotations. Well, the S. Hmm. Let me check. So, oh, should be Pearl. No. Okay. Let me try again. So, let me pass the the text annotations to a text object. Okay. Now, if I run, uh, if I execute line twenty to line 28 and that will store the locale and description to the uh, DF object. So if I just print uh, the paint as friend uh, object and here we have the description and the locale. So I guess uh, all we need is just a description. We don't necessarily need a, a individual column just for the locale. Now if I just open the image so text one and if we just do a quick a quick comparison so here from the google vision api it recognized uh caution and loud noise making devices in use to disperse uh vouchers oh so okay so i remember now so it's been like a about a week since I used Google Vision API. So the first record is going to give you the, the entire text and followed by the API will break down each word one by one. Here from the output, we know that uh, we have um, 10 uh, individual words. So 
percussion, loud noise making devices and in use to disperse uh, vouchers. So if you want to print uh, just the, the text by itself instead of the individual word. So here we can do uh, print df zero and it should, you know, it should be diff and followed by the uh, color name description and it will be the first record so I'm actually going to make this a function so let's call this uh, detect text And we'll have one parameter. So let's call this parameter uh, IMG as image. And we'll put this outside. So here I will place the uh, path join. So I'll put this outside. And I'll replace that with IMG variable. And that should be good. So. Uh, so here I want to return the function as uh, a data frame object. So I'm going to name rename the file name to text2.image and I'll call the function text detect text and I'll provide the uh, this line right here, I'll just copy and place. And here I'll just print the function. I'll print the uh the function output. Now let me open text two. So this one is the welcome to Shibuya image. Now if I run uh these three lines and he will get a uh, welcome, uh, hit, uh, HII. Uh, well, so let me make that a little bit bigger. Welcome to, so you recognize the two. And I don't know where the HII coming from. I think it's coming from maybe this uh, vending machine icon. So you recognize, uh, welcome to, to Shibuya three times. And yeah, so pretty good. Now the last image that we're going to experiment is this one right here, the, uh, the photo I took in San Francisco. So if I run uh, this function, these three lines, and we get 27, so here, 27 right here, uh, pout, and it didn't recognize the, the end. So apparently there's a K right next to it. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. And I don't see the K and market and high street. So okay, so you recognize the high uh high street uh text, but it uh, it didn't recognize the end. And you can also pass the image URL. So here let me show you. Uh, so here um I'm using Flickr, and so here let me choose the uh, image. Uh, and let's pick uh, this one here. So here if you uh, choose an image, and if you click on download this photo icon, so here right click and copy the link as address. So I'm going to show you how to use a link instead of the uh, image uh, file path. So I'm going to create a variable called image URL, and I'll pass the, the URL link. And I guess I'll start everything from scratch. So here I'm going to create image object and visions uh, vision dot types dot image and I'm going to come out all these lines and if you want to pass the link URL so here you want to do image dot source dot image URI and you want to uh, pass the image URL and everything else will be the same. So here, let me grab uh, all these lines right here. And let me clear out the, the console. So 
So I can delete these and yep. Now if I run uh line thirty four to line forty eight. And let me go back to the uh, Flickr image. So here's the image. Uh, make the window a little bit small. Now if I just print the different object, so he'll get uh, center. So recognize the text center uh, ship. Ship to camp, now the kids still stop. Uh, Postal ship outlet and also recognize the uh, the phone number. So three zero one two eight nine zero zero three. So this is everything for uh, this video. And for the next video, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the Google Vision API to recognize the handwriting in an image.